In a significant step toward modernizing its artillery capabilities, the Czech Army is set to receive the first two of 62 Caesar 8x8 self-propelled howitzers under a contract signed with KNDS. The howitzers are currently undergoing testing at a production facility in France, with final firing trials planned before their delivery to the Czech Republic by March 2025. The full delivery of all units is expected by the end of 2026, as part of the Czech Republic's comprehensive modernization effort. The initial contract, signed in September 2021, included 52 Caesar units, with an additional 10 ordered in December 2022. This expansion brought the total contract value to CZK 10.3 billion, approximately $451 million. While the first four units are being assembled in France by Nexter Systems, the remaining 58 units will be manufactured in the Czech Republic. Local companies such as Excalibur Army, which is responsible for assembly, and Tatra Trucks, which supplies the 8x8 chassis, are playing a crucial role in the project. The Czech variant of the Caesar howitzer is mounted on a Tatra 8x8 chassis, offering improved mobility and increased ammunition capacity compared to the standard 6x6 version. Armed with a 155mm-52 caliber gun, the howitzer can fire NATO standard shells up to 40 km using extended range, full bore, ERFB ammunition, and up to 55 km with specialized projectiles. Additionally, the system features automated fire control and communication systems for enhanced operational efficiency. This modernization initiative aligns with NATO's standards, incorporating advanced technologies such as the Adler Automated Fire Control System and NATO's Program of Artillery System Coordination Activities ASCA, for centralized fire support and data sharing. The howitzers also support multi-round simultaneous impact MRSI operations, offering flexibility and precision in the field. Other key components of the system include command posts on Titus chassis, meteorological tools, ammunition vehicles, and C4 ISTER integration to boost connectivity. A key feature of this modernization effort is the involvement of Czech industry. Approximately 40% of the work is being handled by local companies. Communication systems are provided by Risha, while ammunition is supplied by Explosia, and STV Group will deliver tens of thousands of 155mm shells by 2029. These shells will replace the aging 152mm munitions used with the Dana howitzers and will be fully compatible with NATO standards. The testing and integration of the Caesar 8x8 self-propelled howitzers, initially planned for 2023, were delayed to 2024 due to supply chain adjustments. The tests, which will be conducted in the Czech Republic, will focus on evaluating firing precision and operational reliability. The Czech Armed Forces aim to achieve initial operational capability by 2026 and full operational capability by 2028. In addition, the additional 10 Caesar units will contribute to the formation of an active reserve fire battery, ensuring resilience in the event of wartime losses. The modernization initiative also includes logistical upgrades, such as the introduction of new ammunition vehicles for faster resupply and the expansion of radar reconnaissance capabilities. The Arthur system will be employed for counter-battery operations, enhancing the Czech Armed Forces' ability to detect and neutralize enemy artillery. This transition to NATO standard ammunition will initially rely on supplies from Nexter Systems, followed by local production managed by STV Group. The modernization of the Czech Army's artillery is part of the country's broader defense strategy, outlined in the Development Concept 2030. This initiative aims to align Czech defense capabilities with NATO's requirements, with a focus on enhancing radar detection ranges, improving operational readiness in degraded environments, and implementing autonomous systems for decentralized operations. These efforts also take into account lessons learned from the ongoing conflict in Ukraine, ensuring that the Czech armed forces remain prepared for future challenges. In addition to its domestic efforts, KNDS has confirmed plans to deliver 80 Caesar systems to Ukraine by the end of 2024. Ukrainian forces have already adapted to the operation and maintenance of these systems, with training and spare parts provided by KNDS. The ongoing conflict in Ukraine has increased global demand for artillery systems, but production has been hindered by raw material shortages and rising costs, including a significant five-fold increase in gunpowder prices, as noted by Hervé Le Breton, head of the KNDS ammunition plant. Through these efforts, the Czech Republic is positioning itself as a key contributor to NATO's artillery modernization, while simultaneously strengthening its own defense capabilities in a rapidly changing global security environment. Thank you.